Thanksgiving Day. For many, it's a time for lazing and grazing. While we're cooking, we're snacking at the same time, so it is just eating all weekend. <laughs> While we're serving food by the pound, few of us are weighing the risks. According to the CDC, one in six of us, or 48 million Americans each year, will develop foodborne illness. You can greatly reduce your odds by taking a few precautions. To a great degree, by following the basic premises of making sure that you inspect, you refrigerate, you wash, and you cook to proper temperature. For Joanne, keeping guests healthy is a priority. That means monitoring the buffet for spoilage. We'll usually have fresh vegetables out. We'll have carrots and um, celery. We'll put the dips away pretty quickly. And when it comes to talking turkey, there's a lot that can go wrong. First, never defrost your bird on the counter. Always thaw it slowly in the fridge. And one of the top reasons people get food poisoning is because their meat is undercooked. It is very difficult to just look at a product and presume that it is cooked to the right temperature and we really recommend that folks use a, a temperature thermometer or, or an indicator. The Butterball Turkey Hotline says your meat thermometer should read 180 degrees deep in the thigh, 165 in the middle of stuffing. It's all about making sure your holiday meal is a wholesome feast. It's constant eating. You know, when you're finished with one dish, something else comes out. By following good safety precautions, you can avoid having foodborne pathogens crash your holiday party. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.